everyone and welcome back to another week. It's Monday, hurrah, and I am in Kuala Lumpur again for the 900th time it seems. So anyway, today is another episode of Digital Nomad Diaries. If you are new to my channel, this is a series where I talk about my journey to attempting to become a digital nomad, anything to do with long-term travel and also basics of backpacking. And you might notice that it's a bit different from my last videos where I do them in a hostel. I thought I'd come out and about. I'm in KLCC Park. There's the uh, Patronus Twin Towers behind those trees. So um, this video, right, is quite relevant to um, what I'm going through at the moment. And I wasn't planning on doing this video, but I am. So um, I saw a video last week, I think, from Psycho Traveller, Ali. She's English as well. And um, she's significantly further down the journey of digital nomad travel life than I am. And quite often her videos are very relevant to me. So I wanted to do a kind of my version of a video she did last week all about planning the future in effect. And um, that's pretty much what I've been doing lately. And that's why I've been quite quiet on YouTube last week because I have been in immense planning stage, you know. So what is that all about? So there's three things really that I'm gonna talk about. That is getting to a place where you can minimize your expenses, maximize your income, and capitalize, that's a good word, capitalize on the demand for your brand. It will all become clear in a moment. So um, expenses, we'll start with that. So you know that I'm going back to Japan. Hooray, hallelujah, excellent, in a couple of weeks. So um, Christmas day, I get to Hiroshima. And you might think that I'm insane going back to Japan in terms of the expensiveness of that country, but I have a cunning plan. So I'm doing a work away in a hostel in Hiroshima for three months, probably two months, and I might travel for the next month. But um, if you don't know what a work away is, and I will do a video about this at a later date, probably when I'm there, it's basically I'm working in a hostel for three hours a day in exchange for free accommodation. There's a lot more to work away than just getting free accommodation. A lot of people make that mistake, but I'm gonna start off with that, and I'll tell you more about it at a later date. So that is really gonna completely eliminate my main expense of accommodation for up to three months which is awesome moving on to income so this is one thing that psycho traveler talks about in her video and that is something that i am glad that i've noticed and realized over the last few months and it, and it didn't take me longer to realize this and that is that youtube cannot be my main income absolutely no way i mean over the last four months i have started earning money each month where I reached the threshold of $100 and get paid. But this month is horrific, December. I don't know what it is. Is it because everyone's doing Vlogmas and I'm not? I, I did Vlogvember. My views have massively dropped this month, right? And um, it's just made me realize that I can't rely on it. It's not stable income. You know, in, in a way, it's a, it's a kind of background thing that helps me tick over. So I can't rely on that going forward. The second thing about income is why I've done my TEFL. So I did that in October and I've now started teaching on pre-ply, which is awesome. I was completely nervous when I did my first one, but I got through it somehow. Um, and a great thing is also that I have an interview on the unboxing day. It's gonna be a Christmas miracle, hopefully. i fingers crossed everyone. I really hope I get this job. So it's a company called Dada ABC. Um, basically, they, you teach Chinese children online for three hours a night, 15 hours a week, um, and it's a six month or 12 month contract. Um, I've got a TEFL so I can do it. It does say on the website that you need a degree, but I've emailed them and they say it's fine. So um, that's gonna really, if I get that job, it's gonna provide me with a bit of stable income, if you know what I mean, and a, and a primary income where I won't have to worry about money anymore because I'll be having free accommodation, I can pretty much save again, which is awesome. And, and, and that saving will definitely go towards two things, planning for future travels when I leave Japan, and also um, technology. So I really like to improve the stuff that I use to film with, and editing software, laptop. I would love to get a Mac, that sort of thing, but that's way in the future. And the third thing I wanted to talk about, okay, is capitalizing on your brand. So one thing that, that might sound ridiculously stupid is that um, what I'm doing, I'm starting to think of it as a business, which might sound insane. It's a small business where you work constant long hours for little return at this stage. And 
in effect, any business capital say this word capitalizes on the demand they have for their product. In my case, let's be honest with you, my Japan videos are the most popular. This is one reason why I'm going back to Japan. I already have that big bank of Japan videos in the past. A lot of my subscribers have come from Japan videos, so I'm hoping that the fact that I'll be continuing doing videos in Japan, despite them being in one place in a way, um, hopefully this will be a benefit to me and my channel and my earnings, etc. Um, you know, and just a bit on that, I won't just be sitting in Hiroshima in a hostel, I will be exploring Hiroshima, going to Miyajima Island, doing food videos. It'll very much be a Life in Japan series. So for anyone that's looking to go to Japan for a longer period, it may be useful. For the third month, I am planning on traveling around Kyushu, so Tsukurajima, Volcano, Kumamoto, Fukuoka, Nagasaki, everywhere. So um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I want to talk about today. So anyone that is in a similar position as I am, one that is very worrying and nervous all the time because you're always worrying about money and um, you know, how you're going to get by and the future, that sort of thing. It is tough, but um, you know, as long as you have a plan and you execute that plan, I'm really confident this is going to work. You know, very confident. This year has been awesome. Hopefully, it will continue into 2018, and I'll be in a place next year where I'll actually have some funds behind me. Who's that clapping in the background? Where I will actually be able to um, bring you some epic travel videos going forward. So that's pretty much that really. Um, if you're in a sim similar position or you have a YouTube channel that's a similar size or smaller or bigger or you've got experience in this, please leave your um, experiences down below. They, that would really help both me and others watching this. <coughs> I'm still ill by the way from Indonesia, not good. So um, yeah, this week there's a couple more videos coming. There's gonna be a Q&A video which I'm gonna film right after this. And then a food video on Saturday. Yes, I'm doing a food video. Oh my God. Ah. So anyway, thanks for watching. And um, I will catch you later.